uh, and I will recommend you, if you are on your laptops, open your base. Okay, uh, why? Because the base is one of those cases when you cannot solve the whole thing with the automatic ones or just by unfolding the whole thing. Okay, you have to use a combination. Two examples here because I want to show you something. This is actually a, a low poly version, okay, that is already mapped. But uh, once I do the smooth preview, you see here on the seam, it's a stretching, okay? And I have it there to show you why you actually need to first apply the smooth, like I have it here, and then uh, do the UV mapping because otherwise you're gonna have this stretching at the last moment, okay? Uh, so how do you apply the, the, um, the smoothing? You just click on the object while it has the preview. If it's on this mode, it's not going to do it. So uh, uh, on three, I go to modify, convert, and there is a smooth mesh preview to polygons. It doesn't even have uh, uh, settings, okay? So a smooth mesh preview to polygons, and then it's just going to apply the smoothing. Now I have all the uh, smaller... Um, faces, okay? So I can erase that one. This version, it's already applied the smooth and it has no map, okay? So if I want to unfold this and wrap it, uh, continuous mapping or however they want to call it in whatever tutorial you find, first thing I need to do is I need to have a basic UV, okay? But let's say I'm going to do it the way I, I had it before, okay? Camera base, and then I open my 3D editor, it's quite hard for me to figure out where are my edges. Okay, this is really hard. So I probably don't want to do it that way. I want to do it in combination with my viewport. I still need this basic UV uh, mapping, so uh, still the camera base works nice because I don't have any seams except for the end of the texture. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do it with my 3D cut and saw tool. This, this one here is also here. 3D cut and saw UV tool. And as you can see, this is part of the new tools that you have this year. Okay. For that to work, I need to be on the edge mode. Okay. And uh, just like I can double click here and it's going to take a loop, or this way it's going to take a loop, or click, uh, shift, and it's going to take the ones in between. All those options I can do with the 3D cut tool. Okay. So let's start by figuring out what I'm going to separate. Almost my whole map, I can keep it as a cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to click now on the 3D cut tool and it actually it's activated, okay? So the idea, the original idea is that you just click and drag and it's creating the seams, but it's a bit messy as you can see. It's not really that nice, okay? So I'm just gonna do it by being more precise in how I select my edges. And for that, I'm going to, first I'm going to select it here at the bottom, and I'm gonna just cut this uh, edge loop. Just by double clicking there, if that was an edge loop, it cuts the whole thing, okay? Let's say I'm wrong, and I, I cut it here, and I didn't want it to, that to be an edge loop, I just click on Control, click on top of that, and what it does is the opposite. So if before I cut it, now I'm sewing it. When I press Control, I'm sewing it, okay? Now uh, let's do the same uh, here on the top. I'm just gonna cut this, okay? And uh, I'm also gonna uh, double click here on the loop, here on the loop, here on the loop, and here on the loop, okay? Now, if I would unwrap this, nothing is gonna work because I don't have a seam on the middle so that these faces that are together like this can actually open. I always need at least one seam, okay? And at least in the handles, we have to think just like if this would be arms. They put the seam underneath where you're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna put the seams on the inside, okay? So I'm just going to double click here and it works, and double click here. And now if my vase is actually um, a ceramic vase, I don't actually need to put seams because as soon as I put the cylinder uh, mapping, it's going to create a seam, okay? 
On the other hand, if I want to unwrap it, then I have to think why I want to unwrap it. Let's think if this is a plastic and I have two molds and they inject the plastic, you are always going to have these seams on the sides. Do you remember your plastic toys? They always have this seam on the side. Okay, so that means I would have to create a seam here. Okay, but I'm going to ignore that for now. Okay, I'm going to press on Q to end the tool and I'm going to. Um, to go to my UV editor. So I have uh, in the UV shells, I have one handle, another handle, and the middle uh, body. Okay, I have actually one and two. So I'm going to take one handle and unfold it. I'm going to take the other handle and unfold it. And I'm going to show you what happens if I actually unfold this. Well, first of all, it's not going to do it because I have no seam. Uh, I'm going to create a seam here. And all the way in there and there and now I'm going to cut it. Okay, now I can take that part and unfold it. And this is not going to work and you'll see why. On the lumber, I'm just going to add a checker map. Okay, and I'm going to make this checker map repeat at least 20 times to make it obvious. Okay. So here's where I have my seam, and you see how it's not working nicely. Okay, why? Because the sides where I actually have that seam, it's actually a curve. And it, if I want that to be uh, not obvious, I have to have it straight, okay? So I probably want to take this shelf and just, just apply a cylinder. And now I don't see the seam anymore, and it actually created another seam, whatever it thought it was better. I don't see any connection anymore. Okay, what do, what do I get? I do get some stretching and some pinching. Okay, and I have to live with that and I can probably fix it. Where do I see the stretching and the pinching? Here. I'm gonna move this uh, away. And we have this tool here that I showed before. And now I actually do see a little bit of bluish and reddish. Okay, and that's because it's a stretching and pitching. So using these tools, it's not gonna be super straightforward right there, but uh, I can also, of course, just take these UVs, okay? Press off selection and move this uh, out. And then you see right now it's, now it's pinching, now it's getting a little bit more white. But let's say I'm happy with that. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is actually select my shells and then just uh, put them on the layout. Now I have to take this out. And I have a more or less okay uh, UV map. I can rotate this depending on what I want, but most probably you're not going to have the same. Uh, what I want is the same scale on all of them. Okay, somehow unwrap that way. I just want you to realize how to use this 3D cut tool, okay? With control, with just by clicking somewhere, it's gonna create a seam. With control, it's going to take it out. If I drag it, I also create seams, okay? Control, I take it out. Control, I take it out. Okay, that's what I want you to test. And to, for you to see the advantage of doing it on your viewport, because you can actually go around it and do it in three dimensions, which you cannot easily do on your UV editor, okay?